So what we're doing here is doing a retrofit for an, an electronic plate meter. So when, when it arrives, what you have is you have your electronic counter and four screws. So remove the four screws with a star screwdriver. Okay. Keep your screws to the side. So this is what you have. So remove the aluminium cylinder. Um, so this is your electronic counter here and uh, the electronic board. So you basically put the shaft here, the serrated shaft, through this here. So we have the grooved rod and uh, the aluminium shaft. So again, just watch the, the notches here. They're important. So what we're trying to do is get the, the slot here above in at the counter. And we're also trying to get this uh, fit down here as well. So now this shaft is in place here and it's locked into position by, th by this here. So um, we can adjust the position then of this black cog. Um, we can push, press that down a small bit to get the best position there inside that it's not hitting any of the outside edges. Okay. And the most important thing when fitting the, the counter is this silver screw here. It's important that this is back anti-clockwise as far as it can go. So. Where it is here currently, it won't do readings properly. So we just have to make sure that it's always turned back gently, left, anti-clockwise to the left where it doesn't turn anymore. It'll do all the readings. Otherwise, if it's anywhere else other than here, where where my finger is, um, the shaft needs to be at the home position here the whole time. And this has to be at uh, the first point, anti-clockwise. So that's it there. And we just put this back in gently. Having no cable stuck and um, back in with four screws again okay and one last check again then to make sure everything is right is again making sure the, the shaft back here is uh, at the very it's right up to the end and we're making sure that the silver screw inside here and you put a flathead screwdriver in make sure again that that is all the way to the left which it is so you can see there you can turn it to the right but make sure it's always to the left